Okay, so the next trailer for Doctor Who Season 1 has been released. The Disney trailer, the kind of main Disney trailer, it's also appeared on the usual Doctor Who socials as well. But yeah, we're seven weeks off now. This might be the last trailer we're going to get. It's a chunky one. It's like over two minutes long, just over two minutes long, I think. Uh, lots of stuff in there. It feels like one of the most substantial trailers we've had in a good while, maybe with the exception of like the 60th one from Christmas Day of 2022. Yeah, lots to kind of get our teeth into here. I will be doing the full trailer breakdown as usual, you know, uh, in the coming days, uh, whenever I can get around to it, basically, you know, going for every shot, because that's always the best way, I think, with these, to really kind of find all the details and the Easter eggs and stuff. But I do want to do a, a brief reaction before that, just a very brief reaction. Full disclosure, I have watched the trailer already, because... Yeah, I watched it on my phone when it came out and I couldn't catch my reaction at the time, but obviously I was not going to wait until I was back at my desk because it's a Doctor Who trailer and it's it's very, very exciting. It's two minutes, like I say. It's it's a really, really long, substantial, chunky trailer. Lots of stuff that's really exciting in there. So I, I knew I, I couldn't wait for it. Um, but without further ado, let's give this a watch. Give some general thoughts about the trailer and kind of what I'm thinking about it and, and feeling about it and, uh, and how I'm feeling about season one as well based on this and, and the clues that we get in this about the direction the show might be heading in. So without further ado, let's give it a watch. Okay, so we begin with unit headquarters, the tile is flying in there, making a, a really sort of uh, impressive entrance. The sparks there on the ground I think are important too. Give me the loving. Give me the loving. New series, uh, love that entrance from Shooty there and the TARDIS. Some reused clips as well, which is interesting, from the Christmas episode, Church on Ruby Road. Some more of, of the London stuff. That kind of seems to be new footage that ties in with Church Ruby Road. Reuse footage again here. Love this bit. I'd love it if you came with me. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. Then some new stuff. Wow, some sort of different costumes there. David Tennant there as a hologram. This is Flood. And now we kind of switch like a jokey tone with the music and stuff as well. Dinosaurs. The butterfly effect, literally. And then, I love that. <laughs> Some Vortex stuff. Spaceship. I love that. Loads of stuff. Regency stuff. Oh my, Bridgerton. Love that line. It kind of really makes it feel current. Some funky stuff going on there with the, the Beatles episode. Some more footage from the churchyard and the graveyard. From Christmas, which is interesting. Bogeyman. Some finale bits here. Yeah, I'm funny there. Lanny Rush. Is that Tuning Fork? A shot of London, which doesn't make sense geographically. But there we go. Love this as well. Uh, love that. And love this with Carla and the Doctor there. Kind of having a little heart to heart moment together. Loads of shots of Ruby there in different outfits. Different episodes, presumably. Mel. More church stuff. When you can change time. Now, what is that with all the dancing women in the different card stuff? Tyler's shop. Kate, Mel, the wink. Yeah, you see what I mean? That There's a lot going on there. And um, definitely, yeah, a full breakdown will be needed to properly get into it. I want to give it one more watch just to try and pick up on, on some more general stuff. Got a fantastic entrance once again. So many fantastic shooting moments with this. So many outfits for the Doctor as well. So that's Tembi. Christmas stuff. It's interesting how they are kind of advertising the Christmas episode as part of the package as well, almost. Like people are going to go back and watch that, presumably, as well, before they watch the series, if they're new. I have the whole universe and the fingertips and more on my own. It's a real vibe, this trail, with the music and the, just the whole tone of it. It's kind of really fun. Love the dinosaur thing as well. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be like the pre-titles for episode one. Based on some comments that Russell made. Boom, boom, boom. So Regency bird women, like Ender of Armour there as, as a duchess. Jinx, Ruby with a gun, slug creature. It's really intrigued by that, the hooded woman and the, the new footage, or the unseen footage from those those church scenes. 
you know, clearly returning back to all that stuff because there's going to be more stuff that we didn't see at the time. There are powers beyond the universe so vast. She's having a moment. Yeah, real kind of Pyramids of Mars vibes there with the uh, the thing of the Doctor and Ruby like looking at a, a future version of the Earth that's kind of been ruined and ravaged. We'll cut there as well with Ruby there and Ruby not there. So that looks like a kind of musical number there in the Beatles studio. I haven't even talked about that TARDIS thing as well. What the heck is going on there with the, the TARDIS on the cliff top, looking like it's kind of been there a while uh, with like moss and stuff growing on it. Like it doesn't look like it's just landed there. It looks like, it looks like it's been there for some time. Um, so much to talk about. I don't think I even mentioned actually in my action uh, when I was watching it, that line from Kate about things becoming more supernatural. And that, you know, we've heard a lot about this already, about the show moving in this direction. I think, you know, the more I hear about that, the more I kind of feel that, yeah, that, that's a really neat idea. It's a really nice way of unifying everything that's going on in this series and saying like all these creatures are part of this same pantheon, this same sort of group or alliance or whatever it may be, that they've all come from the same place. It like kind of makes it feel like its own corner of the Doctor Who universe where you've got goblins and your bogeyman and jinx and, and whatever else, you know, we've yet got to, to come in terms of villains and, and monsters and, and weird things from beyond the known universe. Um, so yeah, I really like that sort of stuff. You know, as well, like I say, it feels a lot more fun maybe than what we've been used to with Doctor Who or, or just generally that kind of Disney sort of tone. It kind of feels a bit lighter and the way the trail is cut as well, uh, it just kind of highlights that with those kind of moments of where the pace kind of slows down a bit and it's like a little light-hearted moment or a little change in the music or whatever, a few Vortex shots, you know, bang, bang, bang. Uh, yeah, I'm really liking, really liking this. I think it's kind of... The thing that's most impressed me so far in terms of season one promotion, like you know, like I say, we're seven weeks off now. Um, I think I am well and truly hyped for this. And yeah, the more I hear about it, I mean, there's still so much that we don't know. Uh, I mean, like Susan Triad, for instance, the whole thing, like Susan Twist's character, who's going to be called Susan Triad, there's some stuff from her in this trailer as well, like on one of the unit screens, if you pause it, which I'll do in the breakdown, um, there's like some stuff about her on the screen. But aside from that, they're obviously staying very quiet about how that's going to develop and, and where that's going to go. Things like the, the hooded figure as well, like Ruby's mum, or, or is it, or like who is she? Is there more to her? You know, these mysteries kind of bubbling away under the surface. But um, yeah, the impression I get it is a really positive one and I'm feeling really pretty good about this like the way it's going and in terms of yeah we're going to have standalone adventures and new stuff and it's going to be a jumping on point but there's going to be that stuff there in the background as well bubbling away and, and building and hopefully kind of culminating in a, a really rewarding finale which like I say is still very sort of unknown and they're keeping a lot of stuff under wraps there I think but yes initial thoughts there we go uh, like I say I'll do a full breakdown of this I imagine it'll be quite a long one but stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new so that you catch that when it comes out in the next day or so very very excited to get cracking with that one but otherwise yeah I hope you enjoy this trailer too let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and yeah goodbye for now <laughs>